Day 173, the day of Badar. The pagans of Mecca began to prepare for the war they were going to wage against the Muslims. In order to have a strong army, they needed money and arms. They sent a caravan of 1,000 camels loaded with goods to be traded in Damascus. Abu Sufyan was at the head of the caravan. They made a lot of profit. They were joyful. They returned to Mecca, laughing, joking, and singing. They were planning to attack the Muslims with the arms they had bought with this money. The Prophet had learned that the pagans were making plans for a war. He searched for ways to stop this underhand plan. He did not want bloodshed. Finally, he found a way. He wanted to prevent the caravans return from Damascus. He wanted to stop the pagans before there was any bloodshed. He prepared an army of 300 men. When he was leaving the city, his daughter, Rokaya became very ill. She had a high temperature. In order to protect the Muslims from the troubles of the pagans, the Prophet had to leave his sick daughter at home and led his army. Badar was at, was at an important spot between Mecca, Medina and Damascus. There were high mountains around it. This beautiful plain with its banana trees and grapevines was a suitable place to stop the caravan. The pagans were throwing the wine bottles all around as they traveled. They were imagining buying a lot of arms and other things necessary for a war. They were as happy as they could be. Abu Jahal was sipping alcohol from the leather water bag once in a while as he rode his fat camel. The Prophet and his companions were also moving towards Badr, but they were moving with Takbir, which is a call for the praises of Allah the Almighty on their tongues. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, they chanted and prayed. Mus'ab bin Umair was carrying the Prophet's white banner. Ali carried another flag, and yet another was with Sa'ad bin Mu'adh. In the religion of Islam, no fight, killing or bloodshed without a just cause was acceptable. The Muslims did not want mothers and children to have tears in their eyes and be without any protection in life. If the pagans marched into Medina, the lives of many women and children were going to be in danger. The Muslims had to come to Badr to prevent this.